Well, today for our parish, it's very special as we celebrate this Feast of the Ascension of the Lord, recognizing the fulfillment not only of Jesus' life, but of our own life as well. That this event of Christ's ascension certainly brings to culmination his whole incarnation. Just a few months ago, we celebrated the incarnation in the birth of Christ as the babe of Bethlehem, and we've journeyed with Christ in his early infancy, his public life, through his death and resurrection. And now we come to this Feast of the Ascension, that fulfillment and culmination of the whole reason for the incarnation of God becoming flesh was in order to lift humanity up to share in the very life of God himself. One of the very simple but really beautiful summarizations of this is that it says that Jesus' ascension is our glory and our hope. Our glory and our hope. It's our glory, first of all, because all of humanity in some way has been glorified by the fact that God became flesh and Christ has overcome the power of sin for the salvation of all people. And God wants everyone to share in the glory that is in Christ Jesus. And that that is the call that we have. And therefore, in a very real way, humanity has made it. Humanity is back in union with God. Humanity is experiencing that fullness of redemption. And at the same time, it's our hope. Because where Christ is, we hope to be someday. That it gives us a sense of purpose and meaning and direction within our lives. That we know that we are not created just for this life, but rather for eternal glory with God. And so that is our hope that fundamental realization of how great is God's love for us and how great is God's desire that we experience intimacy with him now and for all eternity. The ascended Christ, our glory and our hope. But we stand now uh, still in process. We are still on the journey, if you will. One time I saw it described as saying, we are living between the times, between the time of Christ's ascension and his second coming at the end of the world. And as we live between the times, we are called to ever greater fidelity to Christ. We are called to know the power of the Holy Spirit within our lives. For he promised that he would send the Spirit to us to grace and to strengthen us, to transform our hearts and our minds. And that Jesus, before he ascended into heaven, as Matthew says in his gospel, gave that tremendous commission to go out to preach the gospel, to preach the gospel. That's part of our responsibility, is to truly preach the gospel by our lives to lift people up. You know, this ascension is a time of lifting up. Christ was lifted up into heaven. And we are called to lift each other up as we go through this journey of life. That's proclaiming the gospel, proclaiming the fact of people's worth and value, and that all of us are loved unconditionally by God himself. We are called to be signs of hope individually, and certainly as a parish community. We are called to be a sign of hope for each other, a sign of hope for those who are marginalized, those beyond our community. And so it's always a question in my mind as pastor of this community of the Ascension, community of hope, is how are we a sign of hope to others? And I believe that we are in so many beautiful ways. There are so many ways in which we do try to build each other up. There are so many ways in which parishioners reach out in sharing love with others, of being witnesses to the gospel of the good news of God's love. But we can never be complacent. We can never say, oh, that's enough. 
but rather we are continually challenged to say, how am I a sign of hope today? How am I lifting others up with a realization of God's love for them revealed through my love? And how am I lifted up through the love of others? How appreciative we should all be for that gift of love, that gift of caring, that gift of other people within our lives. And so this Feast of the Ascension is our glory and our hope. Humanity has made it. Christ is in heaven. In, in some way, all of us are already there. But it's our hope because we realize we're still on the journey. But God gives us that grace of the Spirit to transform us, to be with us. Jesus promised in the Gospel today, I am with you always until the end of time. Jesus is truly always with us. It is but for us to make sure that we are walking with Jesus each day as we share in His glory, as we live with deep hope.